All right. So, uh, example, clothes. Today's main topic is clothes. Uh, the okay. question in this is, um, where do you buy most of your clothes? Uh, yes, I uh, usually buy clothes from the malls, shopping malls, uh, but uh, previously, um, I uh, I was uh, buying clothing from the small shopping malls, uh, but recently I have seen that uh, the uh, a lot of malls are built, uh, which are highly uh, centralized uh, uh, environment provided, and they have a lot of parking lots, so uh, we uh, easily go there and I uh, we buy uh, clothing from the brands. Most of the time, I like to buy uh, clothes from J Dot, and uh, I like their clothes, and uh, uh, these are very nice. Okay, uh, do you go to your private tailor or buy ready-made clothes? Uh, I used to buy ready-made clothes uh, because uh, 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 I uh, want to see a lot of variety and I try on I try uh, uh, all of them and I choose uh, which which is best so uh, I prefer to uh, buy ready-made clothing as compared to uh, on clothing because uh, uh, in, uh, in ready-made we have a lot of options mm -hmm. Okay, are you satisfied with the ready made quality of the clothes? Yes, uh, uh, yet now I am satisfied and uh, I do uh, uh, buy clothing, ready made clothing, and uh, 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 because I, uh, I always buy clothing from the brands, I don't, I don't buy clothes from the uh, local brands or uh, non branded clothes. Uh, uh, but I, uh, I know very well the uh, brands are doing well and they are providing uh, uh, quality and uh, they, uh, they have the priority to uh, satisfy, the, satisfy the customer. So uh, I go to brand and buy clothing there. Uh, do you spend a lot on clothing and shoes? Uh, not as much, uh, uh, but uh, I... Uh, uh, I uh, use, uh, I spent uh, uh, average, uh, uh, but I avoid to spend a lot of money you know, on clothing and shoes uh, because uh, I feel that uh, uh, other than the shopping, other than the clothing and shoes, uh, I have a lot of other responsibilities which I have to fulfill uh, after then the, the money which I left. So I uh, used add money for clothing uh, and uh, I buy clothing uh, if I need it. Otherwise I, I don't buy it. And I, uh, uh, I use uh, the cloth which, uh, which I have. Uh, and if I feel it is very necessary to buy because sometimes we have functions in, in our family and we uh, sometimes the size is uh, the old clothes which I have already uh, were size out, so uh, so that's why we uh, I need to buy uh, clothes. So uh, I buy it. Otherwise, I prefer to not buy, and I save money, and I use that money in other purposes, uh, which uh, responsibilities which I have. Um, have you ever rejected a suit after having bought from the market? Sorry? Have you ever rejected a suit after having bought it? Uh, you buy after a suit and you bring it bring to home and you are not satisfied. Color, yes, color yes, 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 yes. But, uh, yes, it is uh, not uh, possible. Uh, and because I uh, I choose suit before I try it and I, uh, I pre prefer to go with my wife or with my friends. And uh, I collectively decide the color, and uh, uh, it takes a lot of time. Uh, I never buy a cloth uh, uh, instantly. 
but I uh, I uh, uh, visit uh, all the shops and I try uh, more than uh, four to five options. Then I decide and then I make my uh, mind satisfied there. Now after then I uh, buy the product, so it is very rare. Uh, the, the suit uh, rejected uh, after buying and when I uh, very rare if I see uh, uh, at home uh, uh, bring the suit at home and then I realize that it is not uh, uh, it is having some issue it is uh, not fit yeah, it is not suit me and I uh, uh, come back to the shop and uh, uh, change the article uh, uh, because I already told you it is not possible because I uh, I carefully choose the suit for me. Have you ever had a bad experience while buying clothes? Uh, no, uh, I don't have any bad experience to buy clothing. Uh, yes, uh, some experience uh, uh, I have faced. Uh, uh, when I uh, bought uh, 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 clothing uh, online, uh, at that time I faced a lot of problem and uh, I recall and I remember uh, an incident which happened. I bought a uh, suit from online uh, and I paid payment through credit card. When I received uh, that uh, cloth, it was entirely different uh, which I ordered. So I was very disappointed and I uh, complained them and I, uh, but they, uh, uh, they don't uh, respond me uh, on time. But after two weeks, uh, they called me and said, uh, I uh, replace your product and give you other article. So uh, it was an experience. So at that time, I decided uh, I will not buy any product through or any cloth through online. Uh, because it's very difficult the uh, the clothes which you are uh, which you are seeing uh, on picture uh, that that shows uh, fantastic and that shows very very attractive and uh, 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 you feel it is uh, it is uh, good for you and uh, but when you see it really uh, on reality uh, practically uh, that uh, would be entirely different. Uh, uh, that shows entirely different, uh, as you see, uh, as you see on the Facebook or online. Okay, uh, you have been to uh, some other countries. When you go there, uh, do you think that clothes is in uh, the, the, the clothes there are very expensive? Oh, yes, it is uh, uh, experienced uh, uh, when I went to Turkey and I uh, uh, I visited some shop, some clothing shop. So I was surprised uh, even I uh, inquired some uh, prices of jackets. Um, they were very decent and I liked uh, some of them. So I planned to buy uh, those jackets, uh, but uh, I was very... Uh, surprise their prices were very high so uh, even the prices are so much high uh, there is uh, um, there will be no benefit even I, I negotiate them because even then uh, I could not afford to buy uh, those jackets because in my country uh, their prices are not as much high and uh, these are affordable but um, uh, they are uh, um, I was uh, surprised and I uh, uh, cancelled the plan to buy uh, jackets. So that is true. In abroad, the clothes are very expensive. And the second factor is the currency because uh, uh, their uh, prices uh, uh, are not higher for the native people who are living there. Uh, but uh, the foreigners who who visited uh, there, who visits there from especially the underdeveloped countries uh, whose currencies are very low. So you know, when they convert that rupees, uh, that, that money into their, uh, into their country, uh, then the prices uh, 
seems very high. So uh, it's a second factor which is which is very uh, very uh, uh, important to uh, see. Okay, uh, we have another question in this regard. Okay, how do how often do you buy new clothing for yourself? Uh, it's very rare uh, because I just want to buy I, uh, new clothes uh, on weddings. Uh, uh, otherwise, I don't, or even I, I buy clothes when uh, uh, the wedding, uh, very close wedding come. Uh, my cousin or my uh, brother. Uh, but after, uh, after then, uh, uh, I don't buy new clothes. Yes, I buy clothes on Eid. Uh, because these are our religious festivals and uh, uh, I buy those uh, type of I buy new clothes and we go to the uh, to the other families and meet uh, them uh, and I buy sometimes clothes on National Independence Day so uh, these are the special days when I buy clothes otherwise I don't I avoid to buy clothes I, I don't spend money to buy clothes so uh, I don't buy uh, frequently. Okay, which one was the most expensive suit that you ever got for yourself? Yes, the, uh, the suit which I wear on my wedding, that was very expensive. And uh, I uh, spend a lot of money uh, for my wedding dressing. So uh, at that time, I uh, I bought uh, uh, very expensive suits, and uh, uh, that was very nice. And that uh, actually the suit was made uh, some uh, tradition in in poetry. Uh, I wear uh, uh, achkan, achkan. Uh, how much did you spend on that special wedding dress? Not your own. When you go to other somebody else, maybe after you know, yes. In uh, three year back, uh, I had wedding of my cousin. Uh, not actually three. I think so. Five year back, I had wedding of my cousin. So I bought uh, uh, very expensive suits uh, uh, for his wedding. Uh, that uh, the each suit price was around thirty thousand. So I bought two, three mm -hmm. suits and I wear uh, uh, for his wedding uh, because uh, uh, he, he, he is my cousin. Uh, but more than that, we are very good friends. So uh, that's why uh, I spend uh, as much money for his wedding. And do you help the people to buy clothes? If you see somebody is unable to buy clothes, do you help sometimes? In your relative, yes, family. I yes, I help. Uh, I uh, uh, give uh, I give them suits, uh, uh, the mind suits which I uh, which I have, and the spare suits which I don't use. So I give them, and I usually ask them if you have, if you need, uh, uh, if uh, you need. Uh, then please tell me, uh, and sometime I will buy for them. And uh, uh, even I have a good uh, uh, relation with the uh, tailor, so uh, sometime I ask ask them to uh, uh, to stitch uh, uh, their suits. So I usually do. I usually uh, buy and give them. Uh, uh, yes, I do it. All right. Okay, how do you decide which clothes to buy? What is your preference in buying clothes? It depends upon the need. Sometimes when I buy clothes for the mehndi function, so I prefer to buy shalwar kameez and with waistcoat, and that is our traditional dress for mehndi. If I need to buy a suit for the valima function so uh, i buy a suit uh, uh, maybe maybe i prefer to buy a three uh, three piece suit 
So uh, it's totally depend upon the need and depend upon the function. Uh, Sometimes I have suits, uh, and uh, uh, the function maybe I I need to buy uh, uh, one function dress, uh, but other two function I have, so I just buy one function dress. And sometimes I uh, replace uh, the matching uh, the dress matching with uh, uh, with different suits and make the uh, different unique matching. So uh, that's why. Uh, due to this, I have a uh, different type of, of uh, dress uh, uh, because in uh, if um, in my country uh, the each function have uh, uh, three main events. So uh, in a wedding, have three main events. So uh, in uh, three different days, uh, I make myself with different uh, variety of dress. Let me know if you have the kinds of jewelry. So, sorry. Um, the question I'm highlighting is here: in have the kinds of clothes? People wear different. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, I have changed uh, the clothing in. Uh, 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 recent sale because uh, in the past, if I uh, talk about uh, uh, 10 to 15 years back, uh, I had uh, uh, different. I had different type of mindset to buy clothing uh, because at that time I uh, wear uh, uh, t-shirts and I wear uh, jeans. Uh, so, but uh, uh, as the time passed. A time has passed. Uh, I my the clothing uh, style has changed, and the mindset is also has changed. The clothing types has also has changed. So uh, I prefer to buy a formal type of clothing, and prefer to buy decent clothing. So because uh, it use, uh, uh, because I consider uh, when I buy buy clothing, I consider uh, uh, I consider my job as well because I. Uh, by that type of cloth which use uh, for which use in function as well as in job so uh, uh, I completely change my clothing uh, kind uh, with the time okay. I can't hear you I can't hear you Hello. Hello? the voice is very far away is that okay? Yes, no, it's okay. Okay. So I meant to say, which company uh, is, do you think is the most satisfying in offering clothes? A lot of brands uh, are available in the market who are very who are providing very good uh, clothing, but uh, one among all of them, I like the most uh, uh, J Dot brand. Uh, their style and their uh, stitching is very good and they are providing very satisfactory clothes and uh, I was uh, buying from them uh, since uh, back since six years back uh, since last six years so I really like uh, uh, their services their clothes uh, so I prefer everyone to buy uh, cloth from from them when especially you buy shalwar kameez it's the best brand which you buy which you can buy from them do you prefer shalwar kameez or pencils uh, uh, i think it's also uh, it's again depend upon the function uh, if a person uh, go for for mehndi then i always prefer shalwar kameez if a person want to go and join uh, to go for, uh, on uh, Barat or Valima, then I prefer to wear uh, a pen shirt or band coat, no shoe uh, All right. Now, in your normal life, um, office home, so when you go to office or business, so what do you prefer? The Valkamis or uh, waistcoat or the pen shirts? Actually, uh, in my office, there is a policy. We uh, just uh, 
wear formal dressing and uh, we don't allow to wear informal dressing so informal dressing if i, uh, I look at on the formal dressing there is uh, a shalwar kameez uh, uh, with the waist coat is formal dressing and which the company allowed to wear on just uh, friday and other than friday uh, we allow to wear uh, uh, a pant shirt and uh, with this condition the pant shirt should be uh, formal so uh, on weekdays we uh, accept friday we wear a pant shirt and uh, on friday if anyone want to wear shalwar kameez then the company uh allowing uh, company is allowing them uh, otherwise uh, uh, if uh, anyone don't want to wear shalwar kameez then he can wear pant shirt okay uh, is it the pant shirt or three piece suit no no it's uh, it, it is just pant shirt but uh, when uh, we have meeting and uh, we have to present anything in front of management so um, uh, at that time we wear uh, jacket over the pant shirt uh, otherwise uh, we don't wear jacket uh, yes in winter we wear jacket because it's uh, uh, it's protect uh, jacket is uh, protect us from the cold of winter so to avoid uh, the coldness uh, we wear jacket to to keep ourselves warm hello yes yes hello okay so when you go on some, some traveling you know, for for a week so how many suits will carry with you uh when i travel uh, uh outside station so i carry uh, it depend upon the days how much days i i spend uh, i have planned to spend outside so if i if i plan to spend two days then i keep three suits Uh, i always uh, keep one to one suit additional uh, with me and with the, uh, the these are the formal three suits if i have planned to spend two days uh, with that i uh, always keep uh, trouser and shirt and uh, uh, other things uh, uh, in my in my bag okay now now we move to next the second part of the test and uh, there is a conversation Uh, that you will that's a speech that you will make or you will have to speak monologue so you will have to talk about the topic for one to two minutes about what you are going to say you can make some notes to help you if you wish so the topic here is describe an interesting discussion you had about how you spend your money okay um this is a topic it am once again uh, describe an interesting discussion you had about how you spend your money okay okay um sometimes uh, we want want uh, to advise others for the sure reason some other uh, somebody else that should not spend that much or this much and we give a personal examples okay so you should say who you had the discussion with and why you discussed this topic and what the result of the discussion was and explain why this discussion was interesting for you so it is uh, about the discussion you have had with someone about money about spending money okay now my cover to you these are the points that you will have to cover yes i had a discussion with my friend who uh, who was doing job in in a non company in private sector but uh, uh, with uh, with the some reasons with his boss uh, there there was a clash happened between both of them so he switched off job and he uh he was to plan to start new business so he had uh he had finance he had money but uh, he uh uh did not have plan of what uh, he will do and uh, his business seek he, he can do and he can start so uh, uh we were discussing on it and i 
uh, went to meet him and uh, we had a great discussion with them. So I well, certainly, uh, I inquired him, what is your interest and what you want? He said, I don't have any, uh, I don't uh, uh, decide uh, what uh, I uh, will have to do, but uh, um, I am uh, I am confused. Uh, so uh, tell me uh, uh, how I, uh, uh, which business is the good business for me. So I explain him because uh, uh, you 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 had experience of uh, uh, textile, so you have to go uh, to there and you you have to invest invest your all safe money. Uh, in textile business and uh, because uh, it is very important that anything which you start if you uh, know uh, it's all the uh, positive and negative then you have to start that business and then you spend and i i all i i tell him the i told him the opportunity what uh, we are uh, what we are saying in the youth sector and uh, uh, he we get a lot of uh, a uh, lot of opportunities to get uh, uh, to uh, to get profit and to grow your business uh, so um, uh, yes uh, he convinced uh, my point and he decided to invest uh, in this sector and he he uh, uh, and he start planning uh, to uh, uh, to searching out on this work. After then, I uh, uh, the, the meeting was finished at, on the on that day. But after some time, I found that he uh, started this business and he uh, uh, he was uh, he was successful. He was successful on it, and nowadays he has a great he has great businessman, and he has uh, uh, he has a great manufacturer. And he develop, uh, uh, he produce the products uh, from the other brands. He just get the order from the brands and he just uh, uh, produce for them. So uh, it was interesting discussion at that time. Now, uh, sometime I uh, I uh, visit with him, visit and meet with him. So I discuss uh, with him. Uh, I give you, I gave you that idea uh, before ten year before. So uh, uh, he acknowledged it and he uh, he is satisfied very uh, well in by this business. So does he offer you a post in his company or in his firm, whatever business he's doing? No, no, no. He he, he don't offer me anything. Uh, even I don't ask anything for, uh, uh, for myself, uh, but I am happy because uh, by seeing his success, so my wish he uh, he uh, will grow the same proportionate, and he will uh, more grow and become more successful person. Uh, okay, now this is very good. And now we come to the part three of uh, this topic. And the special topics you see money and young people. Okay. So, okay. example questions are uh, number one, we see this. Why do some parents give their children money to spend each week? Uh, uh, it is uh, necessary. Uh, because the children has uh, own demands and uh, they uh, have a lot of wishes uh, because uh, in this era it's a modern era uh, the children uh, has to go with their friends uh, for dine out and for uh, maybe sometime they uh, plan to watch movie so uh, so they need money so that's why the the parents uh, 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 decided to give uh, a weekly money to the children, so uh, their needs uh, uh, are being fulfilled, fulfilled, and they they become happy, and they uh, they they their life are satisfied. So it is very important to give money to the children. All right. So, do you agree that uh, schools should teach children how to manage money? Sorry, do you? Do you agree that schools should teach children how to manage money? 
yes uh, uh, i agree uh, i i do agree on it uh, because the school school system should uh, uh, educate the children how to manage money and uh, how to spend money and what uh, what are the good things which you 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 uh, choose for your food and uh, because uh, the children uh, the parents uh, give money for to, to children for uh, for eat for food because the other things are fulfilled by by parents so the children just uh, uh, take food for the, and utilize that money so we the the teacher should aware them uh, the children uh, uh, how to use uh, that money and which uh, food is preferred to eat and what are the benefit and what are the disadvantage of that food which are unhealthy and uh, uh, unhygienic food so uh, that is very important role over the teacher uh, who should have play uh, and who should have uh, contribute on it to educate the children Okay, now the third question in this regard is: um, Do you think it is a good idea for students to earn money while studying? Uh, I think uh, uh, it is uh, uh, depend upon the the financial uh, financial position of the parents. If the parents have uh, money and they are, uh, they have uh, able to, uh, they are able to uh, bear the expense of uh, uh, education expense of their children. So I think the children uh, just focus on their studies and uh, uh, they uh, even when they have free time they just read books and they just uh, uh, get maximum knowledge of the of, uh, uh, from the internet and from the books. uh and they enjoy the rest of the time uh but if the parents are not able to uh, bear the expense of the children then definitely the children do uh earning along with studies because uh, uh the studies are very important for them and they never compromise on it they don't they should not comp- compromise on it so it, it is good if they have opportunity to get uh money f- uh with the with the education i uh, yes definitely their education uh, will sacrifice uh, uh, but it is important uh, if uh, they manage both things parallel so uh, i think uh, it's uh, uh, very good for them and their future will be bright and uh, they will uh, they will become a very a very uh, uh, a very successful person of the society now Uh, do you think that schools should teach only how to earn money and how to spend it? I mean, uh, there yes, be along only, with there, uh, there should be uh, subjects that. only how to earn money and how to spend it. No, I don't think so. Only uh, is to uh, have. Uh, Uh, for students uh, but i think uh, the main thing the main important things are the the school should educate them for the values uh, for the humanity and ethics so these are very important and uh, these are very uh, uh, very significant significant impact over the society because if the students are uh, having uh, uh, adopting these values and they consider them these are very important and uh, uh, then uh, when they uh, go back to the society and uh, their uh, grooming does matter and they will uh, they will um, uh their impact will be very positive uh, on the society so uh, i think the most important thing with school should have uh, deliver it uh, on edu- educate the students uh, on the values ethics and uh, humanity uh, you see i meant to say that everybody the whole of his or her life is relating to money matters but we have no training for this not in the society not at school we only learn by I think the school uh, should uh, 
I understand you. I think the need is to school should have to describe uh, how to earn money, and uh, I think they uh, they deliver uh, they they should they should have classes arrange the classes like uh, in which they present the business ideas. and uh, they uh, educate uh, on them and uh, if you have uh, uh, i think they give them a small project in which they educate them if you have a small company how you can uh, how you can manage that company and what are the important uh, uh, factors attributes to run the company so it's good idea if uh, uh, if they uh, they give that this type of project to the students If I open a school relating to money matters, like how to open a bank account, how to save money, or how to take loan, and how to return it, and what to do, yes. and how to make money, will it be a good school then? Shall I have many students in my school? Yes, it is very good. If it's uh, very uh, uh, helping the students because uh, uh, we see that uh, even when the uh, the Uh, the students uh, uh, have uh, graduation, and they have done. They have completed their studies. Even then, they don't know how to start their business, and even they don't know how to open account in the bank. Uh, even sometimes they don't have even uh, driving lessons. So, if the school train them and if the school educate them, it is excellent, and the uh, society will get more quality uh, youth, uh, which. Uh, completed their education from the university and they will uh, they will give lot of the students will give lot of uh, impression over the society so uh, uh, this is good idea okay now we come <coughs> to next part and uh, this is money and society and example questions so you can see here um do you think it is true that in today's society money cannot buy happiness uh yes because we see that everyone have money is not a big issue uh, nowadays for the society because everyone has money and we see that the uh, 100 of vehicles uh, luxurious vehicles and very expensive vehicles over the road but uh, the people don't have happy and they don't uh, uh, have peace uh, they they are very uh, stressed and they they take lot of pressure because uh, these uh, in past the people were very uh, uh, people were live in uh, with peace and uh, with uh, happiness and they did not have lot of tensions and they did not have lot of pressure uh, uh, but nowadays uh, uh, because due to the human race the people uh, everyone Uh, are in race and everyone trying to uh, move forward with other so that's why i believe uh, uh, the the uh, the race of this money uh, will uh, uh, are uh, uh, move away from the happiness uh, what are the bad impacts of money on our life uh i think uh, we uh, we prioritize the money and we uh, think that the money is the only way in which we can uh, we uh, make ourselves happy and we uh, without money we will not survive uh, i think uh, yes the money is important but it's uh, just for to fulfill our needs basic needs and uh, we we earn uh with the uh legal manner and we don't uh, uh and uh, with uh, uh, uh illegally so uh, if we have money and if we survive uh, if we fulfill our uh, our basic requirement then i think we uh, uh, we don't worry about uh about the more than that and we don't think about the luxury Uh, and we don't think the other uh, if we think the other have big vehicle and we don't have uh, so uh, uh, i need that vehicle also and uh, uh, in in this aspect you do everything which you don't do uh, uh, even the society will not allow to do those type of uh, things 
uh, uh, yes, uh, in my point of view, uh, I think that's it. Okay. Now, yeah, what disadvantages are there in a society where the gap between the rich and the poor is very large? Rich and the poor, very large. Okay. Uh, uh, there are a lot of disadvantages which are uh, facing nowadays because uh, when we see that the wealth accumulation in some uh, 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 some class of family uh, which are not more than two percent and ninety uh, percent are become poor and poor and two percent are become rich more rich and rich. So uh, the if when the poor uh, needs not fulfilled by and uh, they see their children uh, 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 shortage of uh, uh, basic necessities and they don't bear it so they definitely uh, uh, snatch or uh, uh, snatch the money from the uh, uh, richest people so uh, due to this the main problem will uh, will occur is uh, robbery is very common uh, in, in everywhere and uh, the snatching is very common and the uh, the vehicle snatching is very common the poor uh, people are uh, uh, are snatching money from the richest people because the money is not equally distributed uh, to everyone so the society uh, uh, will react uh, uh, very the poor people react very widely and uh, maybe they will uh, they will uh, 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 make very serious trouble for the richest people okay do you think that there should be limit of money that a person should possess uh, I think, uh, uh, yes, you are right. There should be a limit. Uh, if a person is uh, earning a uh, uh, lot of money, then he, his responsibility to distribute the money in the poor may have, for example, a person is earning uh, money and they should have distribute his 50% money to the Hello. 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 Yes, so my uh, mobile was off. No, it's okay. Okay. So, um, we were talking about, the, um, yeah, I was talking that uh, should, should there be a limit of money that a person should have? Yes, uh, I, uh, I was saying that uh, it is very important if, uh, uh, if the person is uh, getting, uh, earning a lot of money, so the government should uh, uh, limit him to, uh, to spend 50% of the money to the poor people and to use that money for the development of uh, poor people uh, in regard of uh, uh, to uh, build uh, uh, some hospitals and to support uh, uh, them for their education, their children education and to maybe create some opportunities uh, for the, to create uh, opportunity for the uh, for their children, who for their adults who are, who are unemployed and who are uh, who are uh, uh, not doing job, so uh, so if the government uh, uh, limitize and uh, uh, then it uh, maybe it will be uh, good for everyone to uh, for the poor people. Maybe we can do something for the poor people. Okay, uh, do you think that richer countries have a responsibility to help the poorer countries? 
Yes, uh, <clears throat> they have a, a big responsibility to uh, uh, to spend money to the poor countries because uh, uh, they don't have these type of uh, issues which we are facing. Like we are in our country, um, uh, poor people don't have uh, money to uh, fulfill the basic needs. Like they don't have money to purchase uh, bread and butter, and uh, even they don't have money to build their houses. And uh, even they don't have money to spend <clears throat> uh, to uh, uh, to spend their education, their children' education, and to uh, if uh, a member uh, of of that family having some suffer suffering with some disease, so even they don't have money to uh, uh, for his uh, treatment. So uh, that's why uh, this is important. Even we don't have uh, a vaccination for the diseases, so the countries who are rich, they they have their responsibility. They have the, uh, the responsibility uh, to uh, to help the poor, poor countries who are not uh, who are not uh, uh, enough uh, ability to uh, help their uh, poor people. Okay, Jimmy, it was nice to have you here online, and um, uh, it was very good to interview with you, and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow as well, and uh, till okay, then, okay. I love you, have a nice time, a uh, happy Sunday, and happy Sunday, okay. and good night with you, again, okay, be blessed. Okay, sir. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, sir, thank Bye. you. Okay. I love you. I love you. Okay, sir, I love you.